Hello, everyone. This is another Black Conservative. I am Ryan Bowden. Thank you all for joining me once again. So another one bites the dust. We have another popular or what can I say what once at one point was very popular uh, R&B singer Neo uh, basically retracted his words. He apologized when he gave in to the woke mob who basically came after him after he basically rebuked parents for allowing their children to partake in gender affirming care, which is crazy phrase, you know. Uh, and yeah, and he retracted his words for that. I mean, I think this happened Sunday night and he issued an apology for them as well as Jamie Foxx. Also, Jamie Foxx did the same thing. Jamie Foxx mentioned, I was reading somewhere where Jamie Foxx mentioned Jesus. And I guess that had to do with him being healed and coming out of his sickness. And so he was condemned as being anti-Semitic. So basically, supposedly, he apologized for that. This country is becoming so flipped over. I mean, it's just ridiculous. But anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to read you this article here. This is an article from Breitbart News that have basically uh, is reciting some of the words that Neo said. OK, so these are not my words. This is the article that I'm going to read from. I know I, I know you can't visibly see it. Because I don't have the software for that. I don't know how to do that yet. It teach me. I mean, if you guys want to, want to be able to see the article, see the article and, and want to teach me, hey, look, put that in the comment box and show me some methods so that I can actually show you guys the article. So no one would think I'm making this up. OK, I have no reason to do that. Once I read the article, I'm going to give you my opinion. You can either agree with my opinion or you can disagree with my opinion. We all have our own opinions, but I'm going to give you my opinion after I've read the article of what he supposedly said. So let's get right into this. Yeah, uh, here we go with another one that get, has caved in. And honestly, it's not surprising. But anyways, it's singer Neo, best known for his, for his hit R&B song, So Sick, bashed parents who transitioned children who declare themselves transgender. So clearly this is before then, okay? Speaking with Gloria Velets for, for Vlad TV, Neo said that parents who transition their children have, quote, forgotten their roles by allowing their children to dictate reality. Now, what's wrong with that? I ask that question. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with parents actually putting guidelines in their children's lives? Let's go on. But I said he, 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 it, uh, he did apologize. There was an update. And I'm going to read you the apology here first, but I'm going to go back into what he said, okay? And he's what he's apologizing for. He says, I like to express my deepest apologies. After my reflection, I like to express my deepest apologies for anyone that I may have hurt with my comments on parenting and gender identity. I've always been an advocate for love and, and love in the LGBTQ plus community. Boy, oh boy. So I understand how my comments could have been in interpreted as insensitive and offensive. Gender identity is is nuanced, and I can honestly admit that I plan to better educate myself on the topic so I can approach future conversations with more empathy. At the end of the day, I lead with love and support everyone's freedom of expression and pursuit of happiness. End quote. Okay, yeah, okay, now we're going to go and continue our story. So that's the update. He apologized and caved in to the woke mob, just like Jamie Foxx did. Okay, well, at least that's what, what the impression I'm getting with Jamie Foxx. Let's go on. These are his words. He says, I feel like the parents have almost forgotten what the role of a parent is, he said. If your little boy comes up to you and says, Daddy, I want to be a girl, you just let him rock with that? Now, this is my question. What is wrong with what he just said? From a normal person, there's nothing wrong with it. Okay, there's nothing wrong with it. You got to think about it. What is your role as a parent? Just to give birth, to have sex and give birth to the children and say, OK, woke mob and government take control of my children, because that's actually what they want to do anyway. I'm not going to go into the detail of that, but that's actually what the, what the government wants to do anyway, take control of your children. Anyway, he goes on. Where did he get that? If you let this five year old little boy eat candy all day, he's going to do that. Like, where did it become a good idea to let a five year old a six-year-old, a 12-year-old make a life-changing decision. And let me comment on that. He's absolutely right. These are, these are little children. They don't know what they're doing. People, little children at this age do not know what they're doing. Even if they have a genius IQ, they are not mature enough 
to make those kind of life altering decisions, life changing decisions. He's absolutely right. What is wrong with what he just said? Let's go on. When did that happen? Like, I don't understand that he had it. Neo recall and quote error where, quote, a man was a man and a woman was a woman. Mm -hmm. Boy, you, you, you really went deep with this. He says, there was two genders and that's just how I rocked, he said. Wow. You could identify as a goldfish if you feel like it. That ain't my business. It becomes my business when you try to make me play the game. I'm not going to call you a goldfish. Ooh, I know that. I know. I know the woke mob was. I know they was twitching. I mean, I, I, they probably couldn't be. They could. They probably couldn't sit still. They were probably so butt hurt. And clearly they were. But anyway, article go and say, despite the angry reaction from pro pro transgender activists on Twitter, Neo's comments stand in line with the majority of Americans who strongly oppose the medical transition transitioning of minors. Per the Hill, and this is basically a list of these, a majority of Americans oppose allowing gender-affirming care for minors and transgender women participate in the women's sports, a poll found. In other words, most Americans, most regulars, most normies, uh, 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 Anthony Brown Logan calls them, are against that. So what's up with this? You see, what, you see what's going on? Most people don't agree with this stuff. And yet you got the left and the left, the radical left, pushing it as if they do. It's a lie. It's a big lie. Another one says a Washington Post K K KFF poll found that 68% of adults oppose access to puberty blocking medications for transgender children ages 10 to 14 and 58% oppose access to hormonal treatments for transgender kids ages 15 to 17. So you see here, okay, the polls seem to indicate opposite of what the left and the mainstream media and the left and these radicals are actually pushing. So who, what's going on here? And then it says more than 60% said transgender women and girls should not be allowed to compete with other women and girls in youth, high school, college, and professional sports. 68%, 58%, 60%, more than half in each of these situations. Disagree with that type of stuff. Okay. Last month, Louisiana became the 20th state to ban the transition of minors. This year has been record. This year has been record shattering for anti-LGBTQ legislation with particular scrutiny on gender affirming health care access for transgender children and teenagers. 19 states have passed laws restricting it, but not all bans are the same CNN noted. OK, while some states have enacted laws that can punish health care professionals who provide gender affirming treatment to minors with prison time, others have built in have built in limited Exceptions for minors to continue medication based on non-surgical forms of care, it added. And that's the end of that article right there. But yeah, as the article goes on to say that there is an update. He did apologize for this uh, Sunday night. He apologized for it and I read the apology for you. But here, but apology to you guys. But now I'm going to give you my opinion on what I just read in the article and what he's supposedly said in this article. I don't think anything's wrong with what he just said. But when you say those type of things as a celebrity, there's hell to pay. There is hell to pay. Anything you say or do that goes against the radical left's agenda, you're going to have to pay for that. And on, on, on a business perspective, I, my heart goes out to a lot of these celebrities and a lot of these artists, performing artists. Because because it's almost like it's easy for us as as the little guys to look back and say, how come these people just how come these celebrities just keep giving in to the woke mob? How come they keep giving in to these crazy people here? OK, how come they keep giving in? It's easy for us to say that because, I mean, after all, we're not making that kind of money for the most part, are we? These people make millions and millions of dollars. They're very popular. They've worked themselves to death to get popular like they are. And no telling what they've what part of their soul they've sold, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean. No telling what they've sacrificed to become popular like this. You know, it, it's easy for us to sit back and, and 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 critique these people and say, man, I wouldn't have done that. But when your whole career is predicated on playing their game, what will you do? That's why I believe strongly that, believe strongly in God, believe strongly in Jesus Christ. He is my substance. He is my source. 
He is my strength. And although I'm not popular or any of that, I've been in situations where the average person probably would have committed suicide. But because I had faith in God, because I stayed on my knees, because I believed in God and trusted in God and kept doing what he had called me to do. And I kept praying for strength and kept praying for his guidance and kept praying for his anointing and empowerment. He gave me what I needed to be able to stand even when I was facing opposition. And see, for me, that's the substance. And I feel bad for a lot of these celebrities that don't have this because what happens is, is when you're being pressured by the radical left to give in to this garbage, this trash, this satanic delusion that they're pushing on you, if you don't have a strong foundation, you're going to give in. You are going to give in. For me, my substance is God. I cannot make it without him. I need his strength. So when crazy things like this happen, I'll be able to go on and keep going on and don't give up. Don't give in to the lies. Don't give in to something that I know I don't agree with, that I know is not right. Okay. And my heart goes out to these celebrities, man. And like I said, with this young brother, Neo and, and Jamie Foxx, who basically reneged on his words, you know, I mean, look. At the end of the day, what is their foundation? That's what I want to talk At the end of the day, what is your foundation? Even if it's not Jesus or God or what is your foundation? You have to be these celebrities have to have some form of conviction that they're willing to stand on. And let me let me put this out here. People like Jamie Foxx. Right. OK. Jamie Foxx is loved. I don't know anyone who does not like Jamie Foxx. I mean, there are. I don't know. Jamie Foxx is loved all over. OK. He's very popular, has a lot of money. He's very popular. He's an Academy Award winning actor. I mean, the man can sing. He can play. He's, a, he's, a, he's a triple threat, triple threat, quadruple threat, whatever. You know, this is those are terms, you know, obviously they use both, most of the women. But I mean, I'd say the men too, you know. If he had a stood on what he believed in, this is my opinion, okay? He would have probably gotten canceled. But. Most people that love Jamie Foxx, okay, the masses that love him would have supported him and would have known that he was right, okay? Same situation with Neo. Now, I guess I, I'm going to say the same situ situation, but in a similar vein, because I don't think Neo is as popular as Jamie Foxx, because um, I, don't, I don't think he acted in any movies. If he did, leave it in the comment box below. I don't know of any of like that. He's not an Academy Award winning actor or anything like that. But if they had just stood on what they believed in, their fan base would have been their support. And they would have been able to pick themselves back up. They would have risked a lot. They would have been canceled by the, uh, 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 um, the mob, if you will. The, the freaky radical left mob, they would have been canceled by them. But you have all these fans that believe in you, that love you, and that agree with what you're saying. When you start doing this type of stuff with, look at the parents, like going back to the parents. What, what was wrong with what he said? The way I see it, nothing at all. Now, on a, up another level, one could argue, okay, and I'm a libertarian on this part. As a parent, you do whatever you want to do with your children. If you want to give your children gender affirming care, that's you. I would say this, that I disagree with you doing this with your children. I think you as a parent need help and that you are a bad parent in my eyesight. OK, but that's just my opinion. But a, per a parent that does that. That, that says, the five-year-old son comes to them and says, I want to be a woman. And says, sure, son, I'll go and take you to get gender-affirming care, something that's going to alter your body and life for the rest of your life, but I don't care because this is what you want. This is what you want. I know your brains, your neurons are not strong enough to be able to make those kind of decisions on a, long, on a longer basis, on a bigger basis, a bigger picture mentality, but that's okay. I got to give you what you want. You are a bad, bad parent. You are a terrible parent who's not really looking out for your, 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 the, the welfare of your children. But that's your children. That's your children. Okay? 
So in that sense, I'm a libertarian. Let parents who want to do that stuff with their parents, with their children, do it. That's their, that's their children. It's not my child. When you try to oppose it upon my child, then you're going to catch hell. Okay, because I will say something. You will not. Satan, you are lying under the blood of Jesus against you right now. I rebuke that lying, evil, nasty spirit in Jesus' name. Okay, you will not do that with my children. That I stand on. But see, I'm just a little guy. What happens when you have the big guys and the, and, and the million dollar celebrities having to do this type of stuff? Then that's a whole nother realm all by itself. But once again, to sum this video up, another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Let's see what happens from this point on. So far, that uh, country singer hasn't given in to the woke mob. But we're going to see how long that lasts. But that's what I have to say about that. What do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. God bless you all and see you again.